The Tesla Semi is currently still in its first generation, but this year, along with a new factory, Tesla will launch the Semi Gen 2 with significant changes. Notably, the battery used in the electric truck will also be upgraded. Elon Musk has officially confirmed that the Semi will come with an extremely valuable feature that will surprise truck drivers, something that is hard to find in any other electric truck on the market. This feature will greatly enhance the economic benefits for Semi owners. And, for Tesla, it will be a major selling point. Elon Musk has estimated that the big rig could generate $1 billion in revenue per month and over $10 billion per year. With the new factory's large-scale production, a significant number of semi-trucks will soon be delivered to all customers who have pre-ordered, and new customers will also be able to purchase the semi by the end of this year. Beyond that, Musk also confirmed, during the Q4 earnings call, that the big rig's pricing will be structured based on how much people pay and its total cost of ownership will be significantly lower. All the exciting updates about the Tesla semi-truck, the world's number one electric truck, all will be revealed in today's episode. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Many people still mistakenly believe that the Tesla Semi is just an ordinary electric truck with nothing particularly special compared to other electric semi-trucks. Some even think it falls behind diesel trucks. Over the years, Tesla hasn't focused too much on the Semi, likely because it doesn't generate as much profit as passenger vehicles. This is evident in the small production numbers despite its initial launch in 2017. However, this delay is not without reason. Production capacity at the Nevada factory has been limited, and Tesla needed time to collect real-world data from drivers. The goal is to ensure that when the Semi is mass-produced, it will be a true revolution rather than just another electric truck. But if you think the Tesla Semi can't compete with diesel trucks or that it's just another electric rig with no real edge over the competition, that would be a huge mistake. Let's talk numbers, because numbers don't lie. The Semi's operating cost per mile and maintenance expenses are significantly lower than diesel trucks, giving businesses a massive economic advantage. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the Tesla Semi isn't just an electric truck, it's a money printing machine for the transportation industry. When you break down the economics, the Semi completely outperforms diesel trucks, helping businesses save big on operating costs. Back when Tesla unveiled the Semi in 2017, Musk stated that its operating cost was just 85 cents per mile, compared to an average $1.51 cents per mile for a diesel truck. Of course, energy and fuel prices have fluctuated since then, but one thing has remained constant the semi's insane energy efficiency. It consistently maintains an energy consumption of just 1.6 to 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, a figure no other competitor can match. And if you're wondering whether these numbers hold up in real world conditions, Tesla's newest semi customers, DHL and Saya, have put the big rig to the test and confirmed an astonishing 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile consumption. To better understand the savings, let's look at a real-world example. With the average electricity price in California, every 1.7 kilowatt hours costs about 30 cents per mile. This means that when the semi travels 6.5 miles, the driver only needs to pay around $3.30. Meanwhile, a diesel truck with a fuel consumption of one gallon per 6.5 miles could cost up to $3.66 at current fuel prices. This difference may seem small, but with hundreds of thousands of miles traveled each year, it creates significant savings for transportation companies. Not only that, one of Tesla Semi's other breakthroughs is its minimalist yet highly efficient design, which is completely different from traditional diesel trucks. Gone are the bulky internal combustion engines, the complex gearboxes, and the hundreds of moving parts prone to wear. Tesla Semi eliminates nearly all the factors that cause diesel trucks to require constant maintenance, the result? Maintenance costs are reduced to a minimum, helping businesses save tens of thousands of dollars each year. Tesla estimates that the maintenance cost of the Semi is only about 10 cents per mile, or $50,000 over five years, if the driver drives 100,000 miles per year. In contrast, a traditional diesel truck has an average maintenance cost of about 20 cents per mile, leading to a figure of $100,000 over the same period, double the cost of the Tesla Semi. But that's not all. Diesel trucks are not only more expensive, but they also require more frequent maintenance. 
From engine oil changes, exhaust system maintenance, to repairs of the complex parts inside the internal combustion engine. Each maintenance session not only costs money, but also forces the truck to stop operating, causing major disruptions for transportation businesses. With the Tesla Semi, everything is much simpler. Fewer breakdowns, less time spent on maintenance, and lower operating costs. On steep roads with heavy loads, the Semi is not only more powerful but also much safer. Tesla claims the Semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, even with a full load on a 10% incline, something unthinkable for a diesel truck, which has a high risk of tipping over if it attempts the same. And how does it compare with other electric trucks? The Semi's range of up to 500 miles on a full charge already puts it far ahead of its competitors. This doesn't even account for the superior performance metrics in other areas. That's why it's no surprise that the Tesla Semi is currently considered the best electric truck on the market. In the recent Q4 2024 earnings call, held as a wrap-up of a year filled with changes and events, Elon Musk shared his thoughts on the fully electric truck when investors asked about the status of Tesla Semi's mass production and how it would affect revenue. In response to the question, Musk further elaborated on the importance of electric trucks like the Tesla Semi. He particularly highlighted the need for such vehicles in the context of the recent shortage of truck drivers. Musk acknowledged that the Tesla Semi would bring significant benefits once it is equipped with full self-driving, a feature that will be available on the big rig in the near future, likely when a large number of semis begin production. In our view, this will be a game-changing feature if integrated with the Tesla Semi. Simply put, full self-driving will help alleviate the pressure of continuous driving, especially on long trips, though drivers will still need to take breaks when necessary. This feature will allow them to rest and relax while the truck drives itself, ensuring the driver's health and alertness, especially when intervention is required. From what we understand, part of the reason behind the driver shortage in the transportation industry is the lack of sufficient rest during long-haul deliveries, combined with the constant noise from the engine over long periods, which can harm the driver's health and lead to them quitting their jobs. Over the years, the rate of truck drivers falling asleep behind the wheel and causing accidents has been a frequent issue, further proving that truck driving is a highly challenging job. You know, that we actually have a shortage of truck drivers in America. That's one of the limiting factors on transport. Um, and, um, you know, and, and uh, people are human, so they get tired and sometimes, and, you know, there's, it, it, it's, you know, I have a lot of respect for truck drivers because it's a tough job. Um, but because it's a tough job, there's not that many people that want to do it. During the Q4 earnings call, Tesla executives openly shared that truck driving is an extremely demanding job and fewer people are willing to pursue it. The number of drivers leaving the industry is greater than the number of new drivers entering, which could lead to serious logistical challenges in the future. Autonomous driving technology is expected to help address this issue. So, when the Tesla Semi is produced in large quantities and combined with full self-driving, it will allow truck drivers to avoid driving for the entire journey. Of course, in complex areas such as changing traffic conditions or parking in tight spaces, drivers may still need to take control. One of the major advantages of full self-driving, however, is that trucks can operate continuously with minimal rest, significantly improving freight transportation efficiency. Long-haul trips can be completed with fewer interruptions. What do you think about Tesla Semi integrating full self-driving? In addition to confirming that the Semi will soon be operating with full self-driving by the end of this year, Elon Musk also shared more intriguing insights during the meeting. He stated that Semi-trucks could generate a business opportunity worth billions of dollars annually for Tesla. However, Musk admitted that in today's economic landscape, billions per year might not seem like a massive profit. He explained that while the Semi could generate over $1 billion per month, more than $10 billion annually, not everyone is necessarily interested in electric trucks. The primary customers for the Semi are likely to be large companies or those passionate about freight transport. However, it wouldn't appeal to the general public. That's why, when Musk spoke about the value of the Semi, he still considered it only about 1% of the value of Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot designed to assist humans.
Clearly, the demand for this robot is expected to be much higher than for the semi-trucks. However, this does not mean that Tesla is not investing in the semi. Otherwise, they wouldn't have built a massive 4 million square foot factory with a $3.6 billion investment. The Tesla Semi remains a crucial vehicle for the company, serving as a strategic move to revolutionize the transportation industry, making it cleaner, less polluting, and quieter. It's no coincidence that major companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, DHL, and Costco are eager to own the Semi. Recent reports suggest that Tesla is making significant strides toward mass-producing the second-generation Tesla Semi. As mentioned earlier, most of the semis produced so far are first-generation models. Tesla began delivering its electric big rigs to external customers in 2022, but the first-gen semi used 2170 battery cells. Since these trucks were built on a pilot production line, Tesla has only delivered around 100 units to paying customers, while keeping about half for internal transportation use. Dan Priestley, who leads engineering and program development for the Tesla Semi, previously stated that once the data collection process is complete and more megachargers are deployed, Tesla will introduce the second generation Semi. This next gen version will be the one entering full scale production. Tesla plans to manufacture 50,000 Semi trucks Gen 2 per year at its new facility. The second gen model will feature Tesla's latest 4680 battery cells along with a more efficient battery pack structure compared to the 2170 cells used in earlier versions. Additionally, the Gen 2 Semi will allow for a redesigned sleeper cabin for drivers and adjustments to several key specifications. Clearly, switching to the new battery technology will significantly enhance the performance of the big rig. We are particularly excited about the potential breakthrough in driving range once the Semi adopts the 4680 battery. In our view, Ramping up Tesla semi-production presents both opportunities and risks. The new factory in Nevada, designed to produce up to 50,000 units per year, demonstrates Tesla's confidence in the semi's future. However, scaling up production for such a complex vehicle is never a simple task. From what we understand, Tesla semi-production still relies heavily on manual assembly, meaning it is not fully automated like other Tesla models. In Asia, most Class 8 trucks are also manually assembled due to their unique design and structural complexity. As a longtime team observing Tesla, we cannot deny that the company has faced challenges in scaling up production for its other models, from the Model 3 to the Cybertruck, and the Semi is no exception. There is a possibility of difficulties as the factory transitions from limited production to mass production. Tesla will need to ensure that its supply chain workforce and manufacturing processes can meet its ambitious goals. That said, Tesla is the only company capable of accelerating everything rapidly once it resolves the final bottlenecks. Over time, videos from Henrik Zane, an ex-user in Tesla Semi, factory construction observer, have provided visual updates on the factory's progress. At least from the outside, the facility appears nearly complete, despite having broken ground less than a year ago. Once construction is finished, Tesla will have time to finalize the interior, install machinery, and begin production, which is expected by the end of 2025. In its latest earnings report and accompanying call, Tesla reaffirmed that production of the second-generation Semi will begin later this year. Additionally, Tesla stated that output is expected to ramp up quickly in early 2026. Beyond the Semi trucks, Tesla is steadily reaching a critical milestone in Cybertruck production, thanks to significant progress in its 4680 battery program. According to Tesla's fourth quarter 2024 update letter, its 4680 battery production facility has now reached an output sufficient to support more than 2,500 Cybertrucks per week. This means Tesla currently has the capacity to produce approximately 120,000 to 130,000 Cybertrucks annually an impressive figure considering the early stage of production. If Tesla can maintain and scale this output, Cybertruck could quickly become one of the most notable pickup trucks in the U.S. To put this into perspective, the Toyota Tundra, the fourth best-selling pickup truck in the U.S. in 2024, recorded 159,528 sales. If Tesla continues improving 4,680 battery production efficiency and optimizing manufacturing costs, Cybertruck 
could directly compete with traditional pickup models. However, achieving this will be a major pricing challenge, as Cybertruck is still significantly more expensive than Tesla's best-selling vehicles, such as the Model Y and Model 3. Tesla's ability to reach an annual Cybertruck production capacity of around 120,000 units is not just a significant milestone, it also debunks past skepticism that Cybertruck would become a production hell. Despite initial challenges with stainless steel fabrication and other complex manufacturing processes, Tesla has swiftly found solutions and accelerated production. As a result, in 2024, Cybertruck became the best-selling electric pickup in the U.S. during the third quarter, a sign of increasing customer demand compared to its initial launch phase. If Tesla continues cost optimization and releases a more affordable rear-wheel drive variant, Cybertruck could achieve even more remarkable milestones in the future. We believe this will happen soon, especially since the Cybertruck AWD model has now officially qualified for the $7,500 federal EV tax credit in the U.S. Also in Tesla's quarter 4 2024 update letter, preparations are currently underway to begin mass production of the Cybercab. Work is in progress for the Cybercab production line at Gigafactory, Texas, with plans for mass production in 2026. Tesla also reaffirmed that the Cybercab will utilize the company's next-generation manufacturing system, a production line that differs significantly from that of the Model Y or Model 3. Tesla continues to prove itself as a pioneering force in the EV industry, with few competitors able to keep up. With a diverse range of electric vehicle models and products, we truly don't know what's coming in the years ahead. Many upcoming products have already been hinted at, such as an affordable EV under $30,000 or a larger vehicle with more space for big families, like a minivan. It's definitely exciting to look forward to. Returning to the Tesla Semi, sustainability has become an increasingly important factor, driving interest in electric trucks in recent years. While heavy-duty trucks account for only about 1% of all vehicles on the road, they contribute up to 20% of global emissions. We've all seen the thick smoke from diesel trucks as they drive by, and it's clear that no one is comfortable with that. Governments worldwide are implementing stricter environmental regulations, with many aiming to phase out diesel trucks entirely in the coming decades. Tesla's Semi aligns perfectly with these policies, providing a zero-emission alternative that can help businesses comply with future emission standards. Companies making the switch to electric now can gain a competitive advantage, not just in terms of cost savings, but also by positioning themselves as sustainability leaders. What do you think about the Tesla Semi? Could it revolutionize the transportation industry and replace diesel trucks in the coming decades? Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla Semi or Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.